What's going on, guys? This is Jaden Solis. I'm back here again about my Z project. It is January 22nd, 2013, and I'm just going to want to do another quick review again, just uh, really an update on what I've been doing with my car for the past uh, couple of months since I had it. Um, recently, when it turned just 2013, it uh, finally turned uh, 30 years old already. So, yeah, this car, 1983 again, to let y'all know. So, 2013, so it turned 30 years old. So, <laughs> you know, saying happy birthday to it. <laughs> it's kind of funny to say. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick walk around so that y'all know what I've been doing lately with my car. I mean, like, I haven't really done much, too much of an improvement. Um, still looking like crap, kind of. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a work in progress. It's, it's going to get there. Let's see here. Um, oh, yeah, one quick cool news I, uh, I did is that I pulled out my gauge, digital gauge, and, um, I opened it up and I found like some weird film stuff that was inside this box and also this one right here. So here's the speedometer, this is the tachometer, and there was like some weird plastic film and like it's it was it was kind of weird how it was just covering up. So every time I turn on like turn on the car, it the lights would come on but I wouldn't see anything clearly at all. So when I um, when I pull it off, I open it up, I found I remove the plastic uh, cover on. I'm guessing it's some kind of like protective shield for it, but I pulled it off, I put it back in, connected everything back in, and then once I turned on the car, it looked just clearly, you know, I'll make a new update video for that, but, um, you know, that the car it's still looking nasty, I, I took out a lot of stuff in the back, now it's just my car cover in there and a piece of steak to hold the hatch when I open it up, um, so yeah, you know, the radio, for some reason, it stopped working since the last time I used it, um, I put a wooden shift knob, I think, not sure if I said that to my last video, but walnut, I mean, wood shop, pretty cool. Um, headliner, you know, it's all pulled off still again. I found a nasty rust spot right here on the top of the headliner. It's inside here, but I don't want to pull it off the set. But, um, yeah, if it's, if it's the digital gauge, but I found out that this one also is supposed to turn on, and also this one is supposed to turn on when I turn the ignition key all the way around. But, uh yeah, and also, also Peter found out recently that the oil pressure gauge and the voltage gauge also broke. They do not work no more. It's weird. I turn on the ignition key on, and the the meters don't want to be on. I'm I'm guessing the oil pressure is not supposed to be the car supposed to be on to work, but I don't know. The voltage is it was it was acting weird. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna just pop the hood and see, show you what what I got for it a while back. So two of my friends in our in our in our Subaru club that Chris and uh Kiff, two of my friends, they saved up their they put their money together up to help me give it a good tune for my car, hoping to uh, make it turn on, but you know, I found out another problem with my car, why it's not turning on. But let me just kinda go through what I got. So here I got here new spark plug wires for it by uh Duralast. Um distributor cap and the rotor inside of it. Um also organized the wires a bit with some uh some of these little uh these little plastic things I forgot they were called damn I don't know. Uh yeah, uh zip ties, there you go. Zip ties. So I got some blue tip zip ties for it so I can organize it so it doesn't look all nasty. So yeah, spark plug wires and also got some new spark plugs, distributor cap and the rotor inside there. So let's go around here real quick. Show more about it. So yeah, here's where the spark plugs are new. You can kind of see how they're shiny looking you know, around here. Um, also got a new fuel filter for it right here. And also got a new uh, oil filter. It's kind of hard to see it from. It's that blue thing in there. You can see it. But uh, also, pre I also recently found out that the last person who uh, who had my car, I guess they uh, I guess they replaced the spark plug wires and they messed up the firing motor. So originally, it's it's, it, it was all messed up. So really, it was. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be one five three six two four, and that's the firing order for the car. But that last time when I went before I fixed it, it was all messed up. So that could be a reason. That could be another small reason why it's not. It won't turn on. But I recently found out that the fuel pump broke. It went out. Uh, I'm not really sure how. I'm guessing over the sitting over the year sitting, it's not gonna do so good, but um, I, I checked around on AutoZone, it cost only $103, same thing at Advanced Auto Parts, either two, I can go check out. So I got that, 
Um, I put new, uh, two, two new belts on my on the car. Here's one of the major ones, but um, one of the main ones. And I put another one inside there, but there's three belts. I still need to get one in the same size to replace all in the back. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's really what I did to my car, and all that was about a hundred, hundred fifteen dollars in total, just to, just for that small tune-up. And uh, one of my friends in uh, at school, uh, J Joshua Stite, if y'all who don't, if y'all who don't know or do know him at all, uh, he bought me a K&N filter for it. So I can't wait to install that. I just need to find, well, take off the old adapter on the map sensor right here. Cause right here is squared off, and there's bolts right here that's supposed to be on there, but it's on the old one. So I need to find out how to replace that and put it on there, so I can finally put the new in, the new intake into it. But uh, yeah, I know that it's coming along really well. It's slowly looking better. Um, once I start working again, I'm gonna start replacing the hoses that are on this car, such as this one right here. It's all messed up. Um, you know, this one right here. It's it's all shriveling up, all it's come to the end. It's all messed up, it's all disorganized. And this hose right here feels like it's too tight on there. It doesn't feel like it's fitting just right. Like, he didn't give it just the... He tried to give it perfect amount of length, but it was just a bit off. Um, these hoses right here, they, you know, they're, they're already rough and hard and shriveling up, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, I also replaced the battery harnesses. So now I know the difference from positive and negative. <laughs> so right here the black one and right here is the red one so yeah it's coming on I also fixed the burning fuse wire fusible link wire here it is kind of, I kind of fix it um it's it's not burning off no more that's, that's good it turned out I guess it only, only burns if you put the dang two wires opposite and so that's how that's what I found out that's the reason why it's breaking but uh yeah, it's 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 getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, right there's the tires <laughs> without the cap I have in my car right here actually. But yeah, I also forgot to say that. I also repainted the Z caps in my woodshop class a while back. Let's see, I can get one right here. So they look not brand new. From here in the camera it looks brand new, but that's because of the shiny light. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I repainted them black again because they were all peeling and all messed up. But the car itself, it's still working conditions. It's it's still a process. So yeah, that's that's the that's the new update, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, you know, it's you know, for four hundred dollars for this car, it was a it was a steal. And knowing that the car can almost turn on, just still needs some more tender love and care, more money into it, and most likely I should get it running by. Before junior year ends, maybe before summer, but uh, my plan is to actually actually postpone the idea of getting it running by you know before junior year ends. Actually, what I'm thinking about doing is I'll get it running before junior year, but I don't want to get it driving. I don't want to start driving it until I get it a really clean tune-up, which means I'm also going to have to work with suspension work because the bushings on this car is a bit messed up, <laughs> and all them all the bushings are all shriveling up and they're 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 cracking and it's, I gotta replace them. Um, also tires, also gonna get, get, get new tires because most these are they're really low on tread. I'm like, yeah, they're they're not good. They don't grip whatsoever, most likely. Brake pads and yeah, I'm also have to fix some electrical wiring problems I've been having lately. For some reason, the the turning signal switch broke. Every time I click it, it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna start ticking the lights. Uh, also, one of the rear lights, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was this one right here, the brake light doesn't want to work. So, it, it's weird, like, when I turned on the car, I had the light switch off, but the rear light, the rear brake light stayed on for some reason. I don't, I don't mind that, I'm like, it's kind of weird, but, so when I press the brake, the insides, this inside part half is bright on, this outside, it's, it works, but the other one's not working so well. And that is my mom that just went outside of the house checking me out. She she said peace. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the basic walk around, guys. Leave a comment, and that's that's the rest of it.
this. Well, I'm see y'all later. Um, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and follow back.